And over to the Capitol now, where a bill looking to make a significant change to how charter schools are authorized is gaining attention. Today, the bill passed in the Senate Education Committee. Capitol reporter Augusta McDonald has the story. Right now in Oklahoma, there's lots of different groups that could authorize a charter school. There's local public schools, the tribes, or the statewide virtual board. What this bill would do is basically create one board that would be responsible for authorizing all of the charter schools in the state. I think this is a, a really good first step and, and a necessary thing for us to do as we, we update the way we've been uh, running uh, charter schools in the state of Oklahoma. Senator Pugh hopes to set a high bar for how charter schools are created and managed in Oklahoma and cut costs. Some key changes Senate Bill 1621 would put in place include creating a single statewide board for both brick and mortar and virtual schools, remove fees paid to sponsors, remove any current sponsoring charters, and create high expectations for schools. Pugh says he wants to eliminate financial incentives for managing charter schools. Some sponsorship fees cost millions. Then that's money that we've been paying in fees that could be used to educate kids. And that's, that's really, for me, what motivated me to remove the, those fees and really remove the financial incentive. The eight-member board would be made up of a retired public school administrator, someone with financial management experience, and someone from a federally recognized tribe, among other specific qualifications. Pew says he wants to update overall governance of charter schools to prevent groups like the founders of Epic Charter Schools from taking advantage of state dollars. I think it's important to make sure that we set ourselves up that we're never in this position again. Executive Director of Choice Matters Robert Ruiz said a statewide authorization board would open up opportunities for minority communities to create charter schools that work for their students' needs. Our communities need a way to be able to create community-led schools. Um, sometimes this can come in conflict with the interest of local districts. Even as the bill passed today along party lines, five yeses and three noes, there wasn't a ton of commentary or questions about the legislation, so it's going to be interesting to see how lawmakers engage with this bill moving forward. At the Capitol, I'm Oklahoma's own Augusta McDonald.